Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And Disney is the gift that keeps on giving. Yep, we thought we were done, but we were wrong. So you're getting a triple dose of dismal Disney today. Uh, we actually got an email from Disney. You know, the people that can't acknowledge us, or we used to be part of the media list, and we don't get invited to any events anymore because we're too negative, but they want to contact us when they want someone to do damage control for them. Yeah, so we got uh, uh, an email from WDW Communications at Disney. They send this out to the bloggers. I don't know who all they sent it to. Well, by us covering this and you wanting us to cover this for you, Disney, I am fully expecting you to invite us to your next media event because we, we're reading this. Oh, you can go. I have zero. Results. No, but I'm just saying, you know, you, you <laughs> took us off the media list, yes. but you want us to show for you when it's this, which you said tells you everything you need to know, because how flipping desperate is Disney if they're sending it to us? Yeah. So this is again, this was uh, sent out to, I believe, all the Disney bloggers, all the media outlets that might comment on this story. Um, good afternoon. We're following up regarding inquiries about the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District, formerly known as Reedy Creek. Please see the below information for background purposes only for use in your reporting on this topic. So here's what they want you to put this into your articles. Yes, this is basically Disney's spin on the situation. They even highlight stuff. Yes. Uh, so what is going on here, in my opinion, after the DeSantis press conference this afternoon? I think Disney is freaking the hell out. Mm -hmm. uh, they would not send an email blast like this out to everybody. Including us. Including us when we have only ever heard from them, I think, one other time since... Bluey. Blue, about the Bluey situation, yeah. Um, so they're sending this out to everybody to try to get ahead of it and put as positive of a spin on the story as possible. So we're going to talk about it before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Kiki will give you a woohoo woo if you subscribe. Uh, yeah, you're only... I'm just amused that they sent it to us. I I'm like about fell out of my chair. I was yeah. like, we never you have you have not let us come back to media, and basically because somebody over there thought we were too negative because we said things like, "Oh, you need more shade in Toy Story Land," but now when you want someone to to show for you, to white knight for you, to put out your version of the story, now you now you want us to send us this, so you can send us the invites to the cupcake parties and the media events as well. Well, there you that go. That sounds like a deal, and if you don't, you look like a bigger asshole than you already did. All right. I don't think calling Disney assholes are gonna gonna motivate them to. Well, to I think it's. I, I can't believe the list. balls to, to send this to us after everything, and then and if we're covering it, and we're gonna cover it. Then you better better put us on the media list. All right. So their development agreement, according to Disney, the state of Florida approved uh, the comprehensive plan, which the development agreement is based on. So in 2001, Walt Disney World, along with other industry leaders, was instrumental in helping lead efforts with the state of Florida to develop a memorandum of understanding requiring quarterly reporting of any serious guest injuries occurring on amusement rides and immediate reporting. Right. But again, Walt Disney World and other industry leaders, they worked together because I think they were told to, yes. to put this. It wasn't just Walt Disney World. One thing you'll notice is this Walt Disney World taking credit for everything. Yes. And it's funny to me because uh, none of this address, I mean, this is kind of addressing the, the safety issue that they're they're worried about. But a lot of the stuff that they're, they're listing here going forward, you'll find out. None of it really talks about the issue, which is, you had your district changed and you did a, a last minute switcheroo to try to pull one over on the state. You don't address that in any way, shape or form. You just, they just go on let, lay it down the road about how great they are and how much they do for Florida. They don't actually address the issues. Do I think the rides are unsafe? No. The monorail, maybe. The rides, no. Anyway, so they're talking about that. They're talking about how they, they report the, the fatalities, which they do. Because there's a quarterly report. They all do it. It wasn't just Disney who decided to do no. it. This is what I found funny. Disney, the Walt Disney World Resort paid and collected $1.146 billion in state and local taxes in 2022, making Disney the largest single taxpayer in Central Florida. Central Florida. Central Florida. Uh, tax appraisals, all property in the district, including all Disney properties, assessed annually by the Orange County Tax Assessor. Uh -huh. I mean, the ones you keep suing? Uh -huh. You mean those ones? The ones you guys keep having lawsuits because you keep disputing how much you owe in property taxes and then try to get it lower so you don't have to pay it? You mean that? That we've talked about many, many times in videos, Disney. And then when you didn't like the way they were, those are the, those are the people that were counting your brand into taxable um, assessment that you said that they can't do that. That's not fair and got the whole thing changed. But then you leverage your ridiculous prices on hotels based on your brand. You mean that? Th those taxes? Yeah. Okay. Thought so. Disney does not assess our own property. I thought that 
was weird they said that, but uh, I think they meant for like the stuff when they were paying themselves, not the ones for the, because they were considering themselves their own government. So they were having taxes paid to themselves. Yeah. So this is all, I mean, this is all damage control. They talk about affordable housing uh, in 2022. Disney World announced it would be contributing, contributing nearly 80 acres of land into more than 1,300 units of attainable housing for Central But they've been Florida. saying a while they were going to do this. Yeah. It wasn't just, that was your last statement on it, but that wasn't all your statements on it, Disney. You just kept not doing it. So recently we brought it up again a few months ago. So now it means we're going to do it this time, I swear. Winky, winky. Winky, winky. <laughs> well, that's all that Mickey is, is a winky, winky. Anyway. Whoa, okay. Uh, let me scroll down here real quick. Uh, March, here's previous statements. So th these are the previous statements they've given their official statements. Yeah, they want us to make sure that when we write articles, we put this stuff in it. Yeah, we've talked about this before. The uh, Bob Iger comments at the share holder meeting where it's, you know, anti-business and anti-Florida, and I'll leave it at that. Uh, March 29th, all agreements signed between Disney and the district were appropriate. That was when they got called out. Yep, were discussed in, in an approved, open, notice public forum in compliance with Florida's governance. I guarantee the you they put Hall. it in some itty-bitty hole-in-the-wall notice place. That's what they put it. I guarantee it. Uh, so this is, this is what Disney brings to the table. This yeah, is, now here we go. Here's Disney talking about all the, the stuff they do for Florida. None of this addresses... The issues at all. Uh, additional Disney economics impact facts, 75,000 cast members. Well, we know that. Remember, they want us to put these in our articles to yes. pump up Disney. They're yes. giving us to all the bloggers, the, the sunshine pixie dusters, to make sure that they, they paint Disney in a positive light. That poor, poor, poor Disney's getting harassed by DeSantis. But here, they are Florida. Uh, hundreds of millions of dollars in charitable giving. Now, here's, here's the thing. We can actually talk about these two. When the pandemic hit, Disney threw a bunch of their cast members overboard and they had to fend for themselves. Yes. Uh, in fact, some of the ridiculous executive bonuses would have run the um, food pantries for years. Years. Yes, they actually started, the cast members started their own food pantries to try to take care of themselves. Yeah. And the executives, uh, this is across the board, not just in Florida, were complaining about having to take a slight pay cut during the pandemic. These other people got let go. Some of them never got to even come back. And they were doing food pantries where their lines would be hours long to try to get food. And Disney didn't do anything. Ne meanwhile, Universal kept trying to pay their people longer and doing what they could for them. Disney treated them like shit. But, you know, go, go them. We have 75,000 employees and we do so much for charitable giving. And the chair and some of the organizations are exactly what you'd expect them to be. Uh, 1.146 billion in state and local taxes uh, during 2022. Uh, 200 operating participants or 200 additional businesses that operate at Walt Disney World with a combined total of 16,000 employees. Yeah, but they do that at Universal and stuff too. Yeah, they because they're talking about you know Disney Springs and Universal's got got people on a uh, property too. Two hundred thirty three thousand volunteer hours, volunteers that they call vol them volunteers. Yeah, volunteers. Disney has provided millions of volunteer hours to nonprofit organizations throughout Florida during the past five decades. I but, think, but when their people needed help. I was thinking uh, millions, millions of volunteer hours from their college program kids. Probably. Um, you know, <laughs> so interns. They also and, do a lot yeah. of internships yeah. and stuff like that. Uh, 6.5 million in Disney grants. Uh, they talk about give uh, kids the world, the boys and they girls They do a club. lot for gives kids the world. I'll give them that. And the, Oh, the second harvest food bank of Central Florida. The second harvest food bank. That was the food bank for the people that were your employees that, were, that they were doing, I'm pretty sure. But you weren't doing it at the time because they were begging for donations. But you're listing it as something you did. What did you do after the fact? Gave them some money and now you're saying, oh, 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 we gave to them? Shouldn't have been in that position in the first place, Disney. $30.4 million in cash and in-kind donations. In total, we provide $30.4 million in cash and in-kind donations throughout 2022 for nonprofits and to strengthen our community in ways only Disney But they're can. not telling you what those, are, what those nonprofits are, are they? No. They're not. They're deliberately keeping that one vague. 145,000 plus Disney wishes granted. Uh, yes, since but that's 1980. not just them. Oh my God. <laughs> since 1980, yes. And a lot of people spend money to send kids to Disney through Make a Wish. They, they grant the wishes. Doesn't mean they paid for the wishes. Right, right. $1.5 million raised for Make a Wish. Okay. Um, has been raised for Make a Wish of Central and Northern Florida throughout purchase of Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary specialty Florida license plate. Mm -hmm. which helped the organization create treasured memories for family. That is a fraction of what Christine McCarthy gets per year as a bonus. 
I love how it's 1.5 million on our license plate, but 30.4 million in donations to nebulous organizations. Yeah, 100% tuition paid. Since, Since 2018. 2018. For Disney Aspire, yeah. Uh, 80 acres for affordable housing. Talk about that. They're going to... Uh, they also didn't pay slums. their employees worth shit. They've, they had to protest again and again. They finally upped the the, minim, the starting rate and a pay on everybody after Universal did it without you know being pushed to do so. Yeah. And they basically gave... All the stuff they gave were just things that Universal you know, was doing already. And they had to twist their arms to get them to do that. I want to point that out. So Disney is not this, this you know, organization that's just like, oh my gosh, we do now we do this all of the just out of the goodness of our heart and everything else. That is a that's a bunch of crap. You know, um, this is like this is just them doing damage control because or they know them wanting us to do damage control for them, right? But they know that the friendly media is going to do it because oh, poor Disney! Look at all they've done! Look at all Disney's yeah, done! Go watch, go watch their YouTube videos, go watch their blog posts, and that's what's going to happen. Now, look, do I think that the Disney rides are unsafe? No, I do not think that at all. I think Disney rides are very safe. I think they're fine. I think it's Primeval weird. World was not yeah, safe. yeah, that's true. Um, I think that every ride is going to have problems once in a while, no matter what theme park you go to. I think that if Disney has to have outside safety inspections, then the other parks should have to as well. Because I don't, I think otherwise everything he said is moot because you're just doing the same thing you could use Disney of doing. I think the monorails need completely renovated and replaced. They're bad. Do I think that Disney answered any of the issues here? No. They're talking about affordable housing. They did put it up announcement last year about the affordable housing, mm -hmm. but they put up other announcements in the past about affordable housing and did nothing about it. Yeah, um, they also put up a bunch of announcements about all the hipster houses they're going to build. Yes, they, they kept. Uh, I see more about that. Hipster houses. Yeah, the yeah, Disney yeah. Living for the expensive whatever. You see that more than you see anything else. Universal did put a. They actually were side, putting a bunch of land out too that they were going to build affordable housing. They actually, I think Disney's response was in response to Universal announcing it. Yeah, anymore, Disney doesn't do anything unless they're reacting to Universal right. or something. But this so one, they said this is what they're sending to the front to the to the media, even us. Okay. Yes. And again, okay, Disney, I just read your shit on air. Where's my media access? <laughs> just dream on. No, yeah. I'm, I'm I, you look like a complete asshole. I read your thing. So I think that um this this reeks of desperation the fact that they're sending this out to everybody to try to get ahead of it and if you start seeing a bunch of disney bloggers with the same damn talking points it's because they got this email. but none of this stuff answers anything here's how much no. taxes we pay no. here's how much money we give and this is all the stuff we do okay great no one's saying you don't do that stuff but what i'm saying is what does that have to do with what you did what does that have to do with the Reedy Creek Agreement and you having your own rights to build a nuclear power plant? What does that have to do with the fact that you guys met hours before the, the, the bill was going to be signed, did the little thing with yourself because it's your own board, gave yourself more rights, and then tried to supersede the government? Where's your discussion about that? There isn't any. That, you're just like, oh, look, shiny. Look over there. And, and Bob Iger is going to fly in when to talk to Ron DeSantis yeah. in person. When is he going to fly in? Is he going to be there? Wednesday? But he might now. Yeah, he might have to now. He might be forced to make a trip to Florida. He might have to fly in Wednesday when they have their meeting, and uh, you know, help plead his case because this is definitely going to hit him. Yeah, in the wall. This is what they. This is their answer. They sent this out to all the the bloggers they thought they could control, <laughs> and then us for whatever reason. Like I don't know. I don't know how they thought that was going to go. Oh boy. Um. So yeah, we're we're going to keep an eye on the situation. I think Wednesday is is definitely going to be D Day. Uh, dismal or double D day, dismal Disney day. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, this thing is going to go on. This is going to go on forever. And I guarantee you, if they try to supersede the Reedy Creek board or whatever DeSantis is going to do, walk that back, that Disney's going to try to use their lawyers to walk back his walk back and reverse the reversal. And the, if they had yeah. just like, you know, Hey, you're losing a special district. You shouldn't have it anyway. You know, we'll work with you. Let's work together. If they had just, you know, not, tried to be assholes. Basically, the arrogance, we've talked this even before Bob Iger left the first time. Arrogance is Disney's big problem. Yep. They are so arrogant. Iger was especially arrogant. And they just think that they could do whatever because they're Disney. And if they hadn't done that, we wouldn't be in the situation right now. You wouldn't be here having to, you know, try to like, oh, look, look, shiny, I gave all this money to make a wish. You wouldn't be doing that right now if it wasn't for the fact that you got yourself caught because you did something stupid. You shouldn't have done it. It was dumb. If only Disney could stop being Disney, yeah, they would stop generating negative headlines about Disney. I can't believe they said that to us. 
Anyway, Let's there wrap. you go. We shared it. They wanted us to share it. We shared it. There, there you go. go. This we'll wasn't this was sent to my my P and P blog. It wasn't even sent to Clownfish. No, they won't. They won't. You know. But we're owned by this, we're the same people. So hey, I'll share it here. Oh, they're well aware. Doesn't say I can't share it. Actually, they said these are the talking points we're supposed yeah. to use. There you go, guys. All right, this is what they want the bloggers to talk about. So we're gonna wrap it up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. And we'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.